Hey guys, today it's Hannah, and today I'll be, um, uh, you'll be Forgive cooking me. pancakes with me. So I'm copying this box, five to six pancakes, one cup. Instead of cold water, I'm using milk. So let's get started. So this is the, so what you need is the pancake powder, of course. Uh, measuring cup for dry ingredients, measuring cup for wet ingredients. And then basically, yeah, milk or water. And then add-ons if you would like, or you could just make it plain vanilla. But first, you just, I'm trying to make it as clean as possible. And maybe you can use a spoon to mix because whisks, whisks do not work to mix. So this is a half a cup. And then this. And then this. See, we can spread it out like this. And then put it in here. Oh, and my mom is behind the camera, by the way. Okay, so I'm just gonna smush the pancake powder. Okay, we're done with this. Okay, set that off to the side and move on with this. So I'm using food coloring because fruity pebbles are dyed. So you need two thirds of a cup of <gasps> this. Two thirds right there. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna use a little bit more, but that's okay. Now I'm going to add in a drop of food coloring. Just to give it a little bit more. This is, is this brown or is this green? Oh no, it's yellow, okay. How does yellow get in with green? Oh, okay, it's a pretty light pastel yellow. Oh, and tip, there's a tip. First, you put in your, first you make your batter and then you put in the add-ons. Because if you put in your add-ons, my last batch I scratched it because it was just too many add-ons and it looked ugly and there was like no pancakes. It was just fudge cookies and cocoa pebbles. That's all it really was. So, I'm adding a little bit of milk at a time just in case I don't need all my milk. Hannah, look at the camera. Talk to the camera. Don't stop. That's how the people do it. The ones you watch, remember? It's okay. See, so, yes, my mom is behind the camera giving me tips, so, yes. See, so this is a pancake mix so far. I'm adding in more milk as I go because I don't want it to be super milky. Because I remember a couple of times I've made really milky pancakes. Now you just have to keep experimenting. I want these to turn yellow. So, so far they look like they're turning yellow, I guess. If I need to add in more yellow food dye, I will. But I just need to wait until this is smooth. This needs to be smooth and not like cool, chunky like this. It's turned yellow, which is good. So yes, look at this. So far, looks kind of yellow. And then we will be cooking the pancakes on camera. Get off the spoon, please. Sir, you must get off the spoon. Thank you very much. Let's just add in the whole thing because I want it to be, I kind of want it to be a little bit milky. Then at the same, same time, I want it to be milky like this, like this. I want it to be thinner. It's really clumpy. Which You're is why. Not stirring enough. Keep stirring. Which is why you should put things through a sift. Sifts make things not clumpy. And then, yeah. The fork works better than a spoon to get the lumps up, but you're doing it. And you can turn your bowl to the side like this. I'll hold the bowl and just whip it. I'm going to whip it like this. Okay. Needs a little bit more yellow, I think. So no, just I'm... keep stirring. There you go. So it's almost good. You want me to help? Ne no. Right. It needs a. Really need to, uh, okay. I think this is good. We can cook this. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of fruity pebbles because I just want my pancakes to be fruity pebbly. Not, this is gonna, oh, this is confetti. It's like confetti pancakes. I'm making confetti pancakes. This is fruity pebbles instead of sprinkles. 
Fruity Pebbles are kind of like sprinkles because they're just basically, I don't know, since they're just sugar. I think that's a good amount. I don't want cereal pancakes. That's if you're going to cook pancakes. That's a good amount. See, the everybody? Cereal pancakes are good. How did your first batch go? Just a teeny tiny bit more, just like that. <laughs> you gotta learn from your first batch. Huh? Yeah, my first batch, I added in everything with the powder. And then it added up in the trash can, which is at the bottom of the trash <laughs> can. And it looks really ugly, so yeah. You do not want it over mix, and you do not want it under mix. I think this is a good amount of confetti. Now we're gonna, gonna pause and cook it. So oh, you pause it, you have to start the video over again. Oh my gosh. Honey, you don't have all the setup. I know. But here, you can get the pans. So my mom's going to get the pans while I mix the batter and show you it and basically just, yes. Oh, so you can make these fruity pebbles. You can make these co You can make these with anything you find in your fridge. See if there's anything else you can use. No, that's, that's enough. This is basically it. So yes, this is good. Mom, are you going to eat these? Try one. On my healthy menu. Okay, this is base. Oh yeah, this is basically yeah. So she's spraying the girl. These are ah, I mean, these are our pancake batter. I'm very happy with it. My first one was just all clumpy and it was like nothing pancake. It was just like a bunch of things mixed together. So yeah. So we are almost done with the setup. Now we're gonna have to clean. We're gonna have to clean all this. Why is there extra pancakes that are left at the bottom? But yes, if you are watching this video and would like to make pancakes like these, basically just follow the recipe. Or you could just get any regular box of pancake powder. Follow that recipe. But I don't like vanilla. Vanilla is just too plain and boring. Like. Yeah, I'd rather have something with like fruity pebbles or like cocoa pebbles. I was gonna do cocoa pebbles, but then I decided to dye my batter to make it look like cocoa pe to make it look. I have like your pan ready. You can start cooking. All right. And show them my tip. Don't don't put me in. I'm not dressed at all. I'm not putting it in. No, don't show me on the camera. I'm not. I'm not showing you. Okay, I just need to. So we're gonna do one spoon for one pancake. Let me show you how. Remember, you do a little measuring cup, like the one eighth cup. Yeah, that's in here. That's why I like to get all my supplies ready before I start. Yes. In here. And then you make the pancake uh -huh. that size that it's way. It's so tiny. Well, should we means... rinse it out? Yeah, we should rinse it out. Excuse me, I'm gonna keep it for a while. Does this look yellow? Mm -hmm. yeah. Comment on my Instagram. Glasses are awesome. Yes <laughs> or no? Ah, I'm just going to put this right here in, in the griddle. Come on out. I think we should have sprayed the cup because spraying the cup helps everything get out of the cup. Pretty sure because that's what they do on Kids Baking Championship with all their butter. Yeah, this is going to look very ugly, but that's okay. You're also going to see us try it. See, this hasn't gone... Oh, no. That's because... Ah! Sealed. Ah, shoot. Look at this. Uh, this is a mess. Okay. First pancake... <gasps> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> First pancake looks like trash. But we're just going to have to keep going get without the measure, without the sprayed measuring cup. So while these are cooking, I probably will wipe out this and spray it with baking spray or cooking spray or non-stick spray. So then all these can come out the same. Yeah, so these are cooking right now. They're just... Like you are white pancakes that you see cooking, and I'm going to wipe out some of the batter. Just gonna sit right here because I don't know where else to put it. Alright, this is just like messed up, but you know what? That's okay. Do do do. That's okay. Okay, sorry. This is just me. 
me chorusing myself. And another paper towel. We need to make this like basically like super clean. And these are going to take a while to cook because they're really thick. I'm pretty sure they are. So they're like thick pancakes. I will still... Care, you guys. Okay. These are not cooked yet. They are only like one bubble. And the spray is all the way up there. So you cannot reach that spray. Okay. So you need to spray out the measuring cup so then the pancake batter doesn't stick. Did you... the camera on your items. Items. Do 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 do. All the videos you watch, people talk to the camera. Items. Do do do. I know that they talk to the camera, but this is my own YouTube channel. Okay. Yes, this is fun. But look, fruity pebbles. I think you want to see your pretty face. Fruity right? pebbles. Yeah, my face has makeup on it. Because I don't know, because I wanted to have makeup on it. I'm probably going to do another thing with the pancake mix because. Our family doesn't really make a lot of pancakes right now. So I want to make like a pancake cake. Or I want to make like a pan cake. Like there's either a pancake cake with fudge cookies. Actually with chocolate chip and fudge cookies because that just sounds awesome. And yeah, but we usually mash it with the meat melt. Oh shoot, are they cooked? Are they cooking? They're cooking, but they're not cooked yet. Alright, this is like not cooked yet, but look. They're cooking. Ah, uh, see, our batters, I'm pretty sure are the, if they're ready to flip. We're gonna flip the tiny one just to make sure that they're cooked. Sorry, my pancake flipping skills are not up to the test. Oh, this one's cooked. Okay. This one's probably not cooked yet because it's big. This is probably not cooked. This one, eh, it's cooked, it's cooked. Yes! This one's cooked. Yes! And I'm pretty sure this one has to be cooked by now. Yes! Okay, I got my first batch of pancakes flipped. Round of applause to me. They're over there cooking on the griddle while I'm getting a plate. We're going to need a lot of plates. Family uses a lot of plates, but that's okay. So, yes, these are a little bit blonde, but that's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're not cooked yet because there's only been like 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure that they're ready to flip back over again. Probably in the center is just raw pancake batter. Oop. Ah, darn it. Nope. Alright, so a reason, a way that you can actually check to see if anything between pancakes to cakes are done, you can take a toothpick, stick it in the center of your pancakes, and if it comes out clean, it's done. If it comes out wet, yeah, these are not quite cooked yet. Come out dry. Okay, this one's definitely cooked. The tiny one is cooked, so... We will flip the tiny one onto the plate. This one's probably almost done. Ah, this is cooked. This is cooked. We're putting it this side. I like dollar pancakes. That's what that size is called. Ah! Here, I'll hold it, honey. Thank you. So you don't have the camera on what people want to look at. Okay, wait. <laughs> nope, this one still needs to cook. Here's how you do it. Does it need to cook? What well, cook it needed to cook? You just flatten it down so the middle gets done. You could have if you wanted. Could have. Wait, can you please reach the spray for me? Ah, uh, why did I do that? I'm stupid. Okay, I just need the spray so I can spray the measuring cup. Don't call yourself stupid. A little bit. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Yeah, I think I put too much baking spray in it. It's okay, tap it in the sink. Okay. It's 15 minutes, honey. Jesus is long. It's not 15. Wait, it's 15 minutes? We should be able to pause it and put them together. Well, See, that's why right here. Then do this. Well, you, these are you, could use, you could use a little more liquid. That's pretty thick. I know. I could have used a little bit more milk, but that's okay. 
Here. Pan pancakes are very good. In my it's okay. But yes, this is just fine. I'm going to just leave them like a dollop, and if they spread out, then they spread out. If they don't, then they don't, and that's okay. See, look. See, look at how much easier this is coming out. Coming out clean. These are smoking. Oh, fancy. These are smoking fancy. Are these are Nope. Nope. I'm not, I'm not flipping them over. Actually, this one, this one looks good. Wow. And then now push it down. See? You just don't want them running into each other. <gasps> That's oh, why you make yeah. them small because you're flipping this and still you're learning. Okay, now yep. the middle See, now it'll come. get done. You don't want to flatten out meat and stuff when you cook, but pancakes, I like to do that because I like them thin. I don't want it hard on the outside and too soft in the middle, you know? That's yeah. just how I like them. You can, make, you can make pancakes a whole bunch of ways. Some people might like them the way I don't, so that's why I <gasps> flatten it, that's all. Can okay, I you just... put this down, and then you put your hand here. Oh, that's a goner. <laughs> it's fun, though. Holy cow! Okay, he actually releases germs, so I'm fine. Okay, honey, get, get... No, don't do that. Look at the handle on your grip. There you go. All right, we just need to help the other side cook a little bit more. Okay, are we done soon? Bye, guys. Almost. Yeah, so these... Our pancakes are done. These are the finished product. So, bye. Okay, let's see. Finish what? Let me just taste cook. it real quick. Let me just taste it real quick. It doughy. They're so doughy. <laughs> let's try the second batch then. Like, mom, the one's mom flattened. <laughs> They're doughy. She's... A learning chef, a chef in the, the making. Yeah, this is very doughy. It's so like raw in the center. Here. That's an arm. Yeah, because mine are not the best, but they're still pretty good. That's why I let them cook. And one of mom's tips, I put vanilla in my pancakes. But we don't, oh, wow. And sometimes have cinnamon. Oh, I'll put that on the um, shopping list. You're right, we are out. One of them is burnt. Well, burnt, not burnt. But and we'll turn this off because we have an electric oven. So the heat stays on there a very long time. Okay, this one's a bit doughy still. This one. Ow. Less doughy, but do you like the flavor? Yeah, I like the flavor, but I can't really taste the flavor because the, the top is a little bit crispy. But yeah, we are chefs in the making. Bye, guys. Yep. Or did you got anything to say? Yep. Actually, they're okay. And that really tastes pretty pebbled. You just see them in the batter. But you can't really taste them. Okay, bye, guys.